I'm joining me now, the mayor of Sarasota, Florida, Liz Alpert. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, this is the time thank it sounds you. like to get out. What are your greatest areas of concern and what are you doing in preparation? Well, of course, the barrier islands are the greatest area of concern because there was a uh, six foot storm surge through from Hurricane Helene that we're just recovering from and almost every first floor structure uh, lost everything that was inside that. So we have been working as quickly as we can to get all of that debris picked up so that they don't become missiles. Uh, in this next hurricane, um, they need to evacuate. If they have it now, we had a six foot storm surge. It's looking like we could have an eight to 12 foot storm surge, which is twice as much as we had before. So that's really our biggest concern is making sure people get off the barrier islands and people in levels A and B evacuate along the coast because the storm surge will, will be not survivable. Tell me about some of the closures in anticipation, anticipation of this storm. So I mentioned schools will likely close, other things that may be starting yes. to close uh, as you get ready for this. Yeah, we're definitely closing our administrative offices and, you know, as schools are closing and our parks and rec facilities, our performing arts center. Um, so just about everything is going to be closing, but we will be opening our parking garages starting at noon on Tuesday for people who live in um, the areas where they need to get their car up and out of the storm water. Can you recall a time, Mayor, where you've had two massive storms <laughs> the size of these that have hit back to back? <laughs> I can't, I've been in Florida for 50 years, and I can't recall even ever getting a direct hit from a hurricane in my all my years of living here. So, no, this is just really unprecedented. And, you know, uh, our city staff and, and county, they have been working, you know, they worked around the clock for Helene, and they didn't have even time to you know, rest before we're working around the clock for this storm. Yeah, well, I hope it loses steam or at least changes track so that you don't have a direct mm -hmm. hit. Uh, personally, what is your plan? People look to you to, to see what you're going to mm -hmm. do. How are you going to stay yeah. safe? Um, I'm still working on what that plan is. I'm in, I'm in a high rise, but I'm in level A. So I'm thinking I probably need to uh, head out to, I have a daughter who lives uh, uh, way east of town and I'll probably go and stay with her. Yeah, every, everybody needs to have a plan. Talk to me about some of the challenges in the recovery of Helene right now. In North Carolina, power and cell service is still an issue. Is that a problem for mm -hmm. folks where you are in terms of communication and getting the word out about this next storm? Um, it it isn't now. Most of the most of the power has been restored, but of course that's going to all you know go out again um, once this storm hits. So people need to be aware that they need to pre be prepared that they may not be able to communicate and they may not have power and how to deal with that. So again, we can't urge people enough to get out now. The question then remains, especially people who don't have a lot of resources or don't have mm -hmm. anywhere to go, what they do. What is your advice? What's the message to them? Well, we do have hurricane shelters that are opening. So they open tomorrow. They will be able to go to a shelter. Um, and, you know, if they need rides, um, they need to check check with uh, the local government to see um, what what rides, you know, what buses are available and what can be done to get them to the shelter if, if need be. Yeah, now is the time to make a plan. And like you said, we haven't mm -hmm. seen two back-to-back -back storms like this hit your area or other um, yeah. areas mm -hmm. along the coastline. Uh, right. Sarasota mm -hmm. Mayor Liz Alpert, uh, thanks Thank to you. you. We'll stay in touch, okay? Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.